Vegas. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another edition of Friday Night Smackdown. We're just a week removed from the Royal Rumble, and Smackdown's already experiencing fallout from the Royal Rumble match. We got that right. There's a bounty on the head of the new number one contender. I know that WrestleMania's a big deal. Nevertheless, the Rumble winner is a Mark Van, a man who has a hundred thousand dollar price on his head. Yeah, and if it was me heading to that ring right now, I know I'd be thinking about collecting a hundred log right here, right now. If I know this guy, and I think I do, the thought has definitely passed through his mind. North American fans from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. I'm Michael Cole, here with Taz at ringside. I'm telling you something, Cole. These Canadian fans are just as pumped as the fans in the U.S. This is going to be a great show. You're absolutely right, Taz. There's no doubt in my mind that the SmackDown superstars are going to give Toronto the show of the life. You know, instead of showboating to the fans, maybe you should really keep your head to this match. Come on, Taz. You're looking at a superstar who can feed off a crowd and use that energy to win the match. Oh, here it is, Taz. Oh. He's building up a head of speed, and he's about to let his opponent have it. I'll tell you what, dude, the opponent's got a brain in his head. He'll get the heck out of there. That reversal might stop his opponent's momentum dead. This superstar is all fired up. And so is this capacity crowd. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what. One mistake and we're going to see that fire go out in front of He was one step ahead on that one. Man, I'm telling you, from my in-ring experience, trust me, you could cut this tension with a knife. I don't think you... And here's a little something for the fans. That's why they love him. You know what? Okay. Oh, man, these fans are fired up now. They sure are. And you know that's going to have an effect on... Look at that. That's going to go over the face of the fans and build some momentum at the same time. You really got to be careful when you're going up there. You know, there is such a thing as playing to the crowd a little too much, and that's exactly what I'm seeing here. I disagree. He's wrestled this match his way all along, and now we see it paying off. These WWE fans just can't get enough of these superstars. I'm glad to see it. Come look at this. No fear on the face of this superstar. Yeah, that would keep him set to get you a cup of coffee. He's really swelling this guy's head. There's no doubt that these fans love him, Taz. And he's feeding off that energy right now. Each of these competitors... I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Nothing caught you a match quicker than over up. What are you talking about? Dominant superstar who's allowing this capacity for... <laughs> None of it. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. 
I can't blame him, Cole. It ain't his fight. Wait, what's this? He changed his mind, Cole. He wants the bounty for himself. No, I don't think that's it. Holy smokes, he's on fire. He's cleaning house. He's not here for the bounty. He's here to stop the mugging. What a guy. Go, man, go. Well, well, well. Look at who it is. The man who stuck his nose in where it didn't belong. You better be careful, pal, because that's a good way to lose it. Is that supposed to be some kind of a threat? Wow, I can see you got all the brains in your family. Yeah, that's supposed to be some kind of threat. You stay out of my business, or my business becomes your business. And believe me, you don't want that. Yeah, you're right. I don't want that. But when you started putting bounties on superstars, I started to wonder if I'm going to be next. Don't be ridiculous. You haven't got anything I want, pal. Los Angeles, where a sellout crowd is ready for some SmackDown action. I'm Michael Cole here with Taz at ringside. Yeah, baby, LA, it's always full of the stars, but tonight, they're gonna get to see some WWE superstars. And not just any, that reversal might stop his opponent's momentum dead. Hey, the ref's got a tough job. I mean, trying to keep these superstars on the up and up, that's hard. Well, it's easier to get some superstars to play by the rules than others. Hey, you know what, Cole? If you're going to get on your high horse again and give us another lecture about playing fair, I swear to God, I'm going to throw up. Is it so wrong to ask a superstar to play by the rules, Taz? That doesn't seem to be so unreasonable to me. That's because you never competed in a match, Cole. If you did, you'd know that you got to do whatever it takes to win. And if that means bending the rules a bit, well then, that's just the way the cookie crumbles.
When it comes to fan favorites, there's... And there's the submission hole. What a deadly maneuver this is. And I've been locked in this hole before, and it hurts even worse than it looks. I can't even imagine the amount of pain that this hole must inflict on any superstar who winds up in it. Oh, my! There's the submission hole. He's in the driver's seat now. Nope. He knows his opponent is completely helpless to resist the submission hole. And that means you got to either dig deep and find a way to break it, or you got to just flat out tap out. This is one heck of a match so far. It sure is, Taz. What do you think the highlight has been so far? Well, that'll probably come a little bit later on in the match. When you decide to shut oh. the gap for a few seconds, then I can uh, enjoy it in peace. Well, excuse me for doing my job, partner. Sorry to have disturbed you. You just don't see action like this every day, Cole. You sure don't, Taz. And we've got the best seats in the house. No doubt, front and center. We couldn't be any closer to this match without being in it. <laughs> Whoa, that's your territory, partner, not mine. You feel like a real jerk when somebody counters you like that. Well, it looks like they're slowing the pace down a little bit here. That might not be such a good move, in my opinion. But come on, you just can't keep going non-stop. That's a good way to wear yourself out and make a critical mistake. No, but you can't give the opponent any time to recover, neither. You gotta stay on him and wear him down. Oh, really swell in this guy's head. There's no doubt that these fans love him, Taz. And he's feeding off that energy right now. Booker T has accomplished so much in his career. The Intercontinental title, the what a submission maneuver. You must be familiar with this one, Taz. Yeah, I've been on both sides of the call, that's the truth. And let me tell you, it's better to give than receive. If Booker wants to win this thing, he better get focused on his opponent and get his mind off the fans. Come on, oh, come on, quit showing off. This is supposed to be a wrestling match, not a popularity contest. We've seen this before, Taz. He's a nice quick counter. These superstars are on top of their game, but only one of them is going to have their hand raised at the end of this one. And that's a real shame because, like you said, this has been a great match so far. Well, what do you want, Tom? You want to say that everyone wins so nobody gets their feelings hurt? I never said that. I'm just saying that in a great match like this, everyone involved deserves credit. Oh. I love hearing the crowd come alive, even when I don't exactly agree with what they're saying. Me too. And I do agree with what they're saying, Tex. Watching these superstars go at it reminds me why I prefer to stay on this side of the announce stage. Oh, come on, bro. What's he trying to do here? He was looking for that Alabama slam, and he got it. I almost feel bad for J.R. and King, Paul. When's the last time you think they saw a match this good? I couldn't tell you, Taz. I don't know if they've ever had anything this good on Raw. Me neither. Because I guess that just makes sense. I mean, after all, SmackDown is the number one brand in all of sports entertainment. And that's one of the few things we completely agree on, Parker. It doesn't get any bigger or better than SmackDown. Man, I'm telling you, from my in-ring experience, trust me, you could cut this tension with a knife. I don't think you need in-ring experience to feel the tenacity radiating off these superstars' pads. I don't think anything could be more obvious. Spoken like a guy who's never been in there, Cole. Trust me, when it comes down to you or them, it's a whole different level of intensity. I'll have to take your word for it, Taz. I honestly can't imagine a more electric atmosphere. That turnbuckle was exactly where you don't want to wind up. And here's the reason why. You're very much what you can do once your opponent gets into that position and starts unloading on you like that. These superstars give everything they got when they're in a match like this. 
but a lot of people don't realize what they sacrifice behind the scenes also. No question. If you want to make it in the WWE, you've got to sacrifice just about everything. Oh my, talk about your compromising positions. Nothing will take the fun out of a superstar quicker than a move like this. Oh God, I think every guy watching this knows how painful this has got to be. Well, except you. I know I do, and in times like these, I'm glad to stay on this side of the announce table. These superstars have inflicted so much damage on each other. I'm getting exhausted just while oh, unlike you, he's got some big plan. Oh, you're not wrong, Taz. The Alabama slam. What an impact. It sounds like this capacity crash. Is that it? No, only a two count. I think that if one of these superstars successfully executes their finishing move, this one is over. That ain't necessarily the case, Cole. Just because it's called a finisher doesn't mean it always ends the match. You sound like you're speaking from experience here, Taz. Of course not. Whenever I locked into Taz Mission, that was it. End of story. It was over. I think you're developing a selective memory in your old age, partner. You know, Cole, I'd ask you who you were pulled for in this match, but I think it's pretty obvious since the... He's got this crowd solidly behind him. And now he's going to give them exactly what they want to see. You can't just keep playing to the crowd, though, Cole. That's a huge distraction, in my opinion. Three. These superstars have been going hard all night. They sure have. And that's where the superb conditioning of the WWE superstars comes into play. No doubt, Cole. There ain't no way you're gonna win a match if you're out of gas two minutes into it. You can say that again. I've seen matches won and lost simply because one superstar was able to outlast their opponent. Man, you just can't put anything over on these fans. You sure can't. You know, there is such a thing as playing to the crowd a little too much, and that's exactly what I'm seeing here. I disagree. He's wrestled this match his way all along, and now we see it paying off. This is a big risk. Good payoff. You know, instead of showing off your fans, maybe you should really keep the head in this match. Come on, Taz. You're looking at a superstar who can feed off the crowd and use that energy to win the match. He slipped out of that one. Thank <laughs> you. 
sold out SmackDown from San Antonio, Texas. Do we have an exciting show for you tonight? Oh, I'm telling you, man, I can't wait for the action to start. Just listen to these fans. These superstars have been going hard all night. They sure have. And that's where the he can talk all he wants, Cole. But once he's lost the match, this guy's gonna win. He's got more time to lift his opponent. I think you're wrong about that, Taz. I think this is going to make his victory tonight that much sweeter. And there's the submission hole. What a deadly maneuver this is. You're not kidding, Cole. He smells blood in the water, Cole. He's going straight for the submission. And this could prove to be a decisive moment in this match. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hint of weakness in the other. That's the law of the jungle, Cole. An injured superstar. The adrenaline is pumping. The crowd is coming alive. And this is what they came to see. Hey, Cole, you know what? Why don't you strain yourself a little bit, okay? You're supposed to be calling this bad boy right down the middle. And here we go with the submission hole. This could be a pivotal moment in this match. It sure could. There's a lot of pressure being applied in that hole, Cole. And there's the counter, Cole. these superstars go at it reminds me why I prefer to stay on this side of the announcement. Oh, come on, Cole. You know, you should let me train you. You could be Cruiserweight champion in like a year. Oh, no. I've heard stories about the way you train people. You make Marine drill instructors look like pushovers. Duh. They're just training people to go to war. I train them to be WWE superstar. Well, thanks but no thanks, partner. I think I'll stick to announcing for now. From my in ring experience, trust me, you could. He's got this crowd solidly behind him, and now he's going to give them exactly what they want to see. You can't just keep playing to the crowd, though, Cole. That's a huge distraction, in my opinion. Oh! Man, even if you end up winning a match like this, you're going to be feeling it for the next week. Yes, but that's the case if you lose as well. And having to deal with emotional as well as physical pain is that much worse. Emotional? What the hell are you talking about? Well, I've been in the locker room after a match and seen the superstars who don't get their hands raised. You can literally feel the disappointment radiating off that. Here it is, Dad. He's building up a head of steam, and he's about to let his opponent have it. I'll tell you what, the Cole's got to bring his head. He'll get the heck out of it. <laughs> This crowd is really swelling this guy's head. There's no doubt that these fans... He may get the three count right here. You know, he's going to show both to the fans. Maybe he should really keep... Here's your winner. The Star. And Booker T. Let's cut to the chase. You're offering $100,000 to the man who can take me out. But I've got a better idea. How about you put that bounty on the line, and I'll put up my number one contender status for a title match at WrestleMania. You and me can settle it this Sunday at No Way Out. Whoa! He's risking his number one contendership? If he loses the match, he loses his title opportunity at WrestleMania. Not for nothing, young lady. There's a hundred thousand dollars at stake. Whoa, whoa. Hold on. You're gonna reward him for trying to take you out? I've got a better idea. How about the two of us take him and his goons out right here tonight? And as a thank you, you put that WrestleMania title match on the line against me this Sunday. 
An impressive counteroffer. Which one will he choose? California, welcome to all our SmackDown fans. I'm Michael Cole, here with Taz at ringside in San Diego. Big shout out to all our great fans in the 619 area code here. I love San Diego, baby. No kidding, partner. San Diego couldn't be more excited for SmackDown action. And we couldn't be more excited to be here. You feel like a real jerk when somebody counters you like that. You know, there is such a thing as playing to the crowd a little too much, and that's exactly what I'm seeing here. I disagree. He's wrestled this match his way all along, and now we see it paying off. Man, this crowd is really strong in this guy's game. There's no doubt that these fans love him, Taz, and he's feeding off that energy right now. And here's a little something for the fans. That's why they love him. You know what? But who cares what they think? All he's doing here is giving his opponent a chance to recover. Oh, come on. Quit showing off. This is supposed to be a wrestler match, not a popularity contest. We've seen this before, Taz. He's been wrestling his style of match, and he's coming up on a big payoff. Whoa! I think these fans have got a little something they want to share with us. That's their right, Taz. They paid for their ticket. This superstar is all fired up, and so is this capacity crowd. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what, one mistake we're going to see that fire go out. What the fuck? Jeez, look at this. Pandering to the crowd. Nothing wrong with keeping the paying customers happy while you build some momentum, Taz. He saw that one coming. Man, this 
match is so good, it's even worth sitting next to you to watch it, Paul. Well, thanks a lot, Taz. You know, oh boy, looks like someone's moving up in the world. He's got this crowd solidly behind him. And now he's going to give them exactly what they want to see. You can't just keep playing to the crowd, though, Paul. That's a huge distraction, in my opinion. He's taking a little time to give his opponent a piece of his mind. You sure he can spare it, Paul? I'll tell you what, man, this one's just turned into a fight. You're it's simple. We knew it was going to be intense. We knew it was going to be physical. But I don't think anyone was prepared for this. I gotta admit, it kind of took me by surprise, Cole. And that don't happen too often. That's an understatement. You've been in hundreds of matches in your career. We both called hundreds more. We usually have a pretty good idea of what to expect, but not this time. I guess it just goes to show you, Cole, like they say, anything can happen here in the WWE. You know, instead of showboating to the fans, maybe you should really keep your head with it. Here's the cover. The adrenaline is pouring. The crowd is coming alive. This is what they came to see. Here's your winner. The Well, here we are at No Way Out, and Taz, the title opportunity at WrestleMania is on the line in this very next matchup. This guy shot the world when he put up a $100,000 bounty on the head of the number one contender right after the Royal Rumble. I'd say that he suffered from a classic case of sour grapes once he lost his chance for a title opportunity. He's been a menace on SmackDown ever since. Jeez, old sour grapes. You think that he's got a bunch of grand burning a hole in his pocket? He better be able to buy some fresh grapes or whatever. I guess not.
These WWE fans just can't get enough of these superstars. And I'm glad to see it. A WWE match isn't just about competition, it's also about entertaining the fans. Okay, well, if that's the case, how come they got you as an announcer? I mean, that ain't exactly great entertainment, in my opinion. You might be right, Taz. I think it would be extremely entertaining to listen to. Wow, now that one's not the rule book. But you know what they say, it's not a crime if you don't get caught. I don't believe it. How could the referee have missed that? This superstar is all fired up. And so is this capacity crowd. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what. One mistake and we're going to see that fire go out. But... It's so great seeing these athletes compete here tonight. I had a feeling they were going to wind up against each other sooner or later. There were times when it seemed like it wasn't going to happen, but I can't tell you how glad I am that it did. The cage itself can be a weapon in this match, as we've just seen. He can pull all he wants, Cole, but once he's lost the match, this guy's going to wish that he spent more time doing it. I think you're wrong, man. Really swelling this guy's head. There's no doubt that these fans love him, Taz, and he's feeding off that energy right now. I think we're hearing the First Amendment in action here tonight, Taz. It's a great thing to hear. Oh, jeez. Someone's voice just went up a couple of octaves. It hurts just watching it. I can't imagine how excruciating this must be. He's taking a little time to give his opponent a piece of his mind. You sure he can spare a call? This has been a great match so far. I think it's pretty obvious which way it's going. Oh, really? Are you willing to go out on a limb and actually make a guess then? There's no guesswork involved, Cole. But if you're going to be snippy, I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. But, wow, if I knew it was that easy, I would have said that years ago. You know, there is such a thing as playing to the crowd. Really to and it looks like he's bleeding. This is not going to help his chances. Well, that depends, Cole. I mean, some guys, they go a little nuts at the side of their own blood, and they become unstoppable. Well, that doesn't seem like a good strategy to me. I hope he ends this before he suffers a serious injury. You know, instead of showing up to the fans, talk about adding insult to injury. And these fans love it. Yeah, well, you know what? He better worry more about the injury and less about the insult until this match is over. You can't blame him for wanting out of that cage, Cole. Man, I'm telling you, for my unless his opponent moves quickly, this one is history. He did it. He won the match in the cage. Number one contender status for the world heavyweight title. Not to mention the fact that he just slept very one hundred thousand dollars. Now he is a part of the A hundred grand. Wow, that's a nice payday. No doubt. But even more fun, he's still going to WrestleMania to meet the champ. The longer WrestleMania continues, and this man remains in the back lane.